Well, I don't know, because I have the worst possible luck here. Wait, no, you're defanged. Aww. The stalker just wants hugs. You know, as long as he's defanged, he's pretty dang adorable, isn't he? Hugs for the stalker. Hugs for the vampire survivor stalker. Hmm. Miang's finally found someone to love her. Maybe that's what I should do. No, come back, stalker! She only wanted hugs. Thanks for messing around. It's more Vampire Survivors, Beswick, Miong, Moonspell is going to be heading over to the Mad Forest and making them mad with how much she beats them up. All right, this should not be too difficult. Why is he on the right? Was he always on the right? This doesn't look right at all. Uh, this concerns me. Did you do something wrong? Did I select the wrong stage on accident? Okay, anyway, this is the strategy for this time. We're going to go to the three, like, orbitish pickups and put them together and show them how it's done. Now, if you tow won't affect garlic and soul eater, but hey, it affects the other two, and that's good. And remember that here, the first evolution chest does in fact or the first chest is an evolution chest so save that till you can actually evolve something which really should be festive winds to start with because it's the most effective weapon i have here this boy is not going to be one for direct damage all right that's one minute so it's just an experience gem or is it well, I mean, it was, but shall it be for forever? Hmm. I actually got through. Huh. Feels like more petals than usual. You don't have to worry about the bats. The garlic will destroy them instantly. I should just run right into them. I get Pomerola up so I can evolve Silver Wing ASAP. The things that aren't Silver Wing are going to have a much more difficult time to actually hit, but hey, that's what you just got to do sometimes. Huh. Weird. There you are. That's odd. You were really slow for some reason. Skelly wave. Oh, even if this doesn't, I'll make sure to have it maxed out. Nope, not evolved. Maybe it's only on inverse? Or maybe it's only from that first bat. Oh, time to head up to the Atlantean then. Forgot those existed. It's been so long since I've ran into one of them. Alright, Pomerola was on the map here. Not that it's remotely helpful to have gotten it, since I'm going to run into Limit Break hard anyway. And, uh... Well, no, 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 Duration still works with Unholy Vespers, just due to how it works. It'll allow it to double up. It's cooldown and duration are synced so that it always is active that way. If you get more duration, I think it's only more duration, then it will get desynced and start doubling up because the duration will last longer than the cooldown. Yeah, that should be how it works. And if I had more time to prep this instead of just doing it a couple hours before posting, I might actually look things up. But I did confirm that 100% Mion did not beat this stage yet on challenge anyway. I might have done it before in the past. Elsewhere. By the way, closing in on the end of wave four. Though I still do have to do the first couple characters again to get them up on parity. 
you know, when I was doing three characters to a video, or I realized that would really annoy, would be annoying with tags. Yay, tags, gotta get that CO going. Uh, almost none of my dang views come from actual searches. It's almost exclusively just from homepage rocks. Or subs well. This card you silver rank, even though I would really love to have you, you would go great with this. Getting a lot of kills now. Man. Triple hard knockback makes you really difficult to actually get in, huh, Lantian? I want that. I mean I'm actually pretty close. I don't have that many levels. Er, I mean, yeah, I've got three more levels to spare before I start running into a limit break. Wow, he went down pretty quickly. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna stay still till ten minutes. They shouldn't get in. Garlic protects me from shooters, and then Silver Wind and Bible does the rest. And then we'll get bounced back by Garlic back into the bounce of the Bible or Silver Wind. And I heal up too, which is nice. What's next for Myong Moonspell? But yeah, third wave, almost done. There's seven more in Moonspell, eight more in Poskari than the couple up top. That's about 15, uh, 16, 17. We've got 20 more videos. I don't know the exact amount of top characters I did. Yeah, mid-August-ish. I'll be going over to the fourth wave. And that's where I'm going to make up some real ground. Right, there's Bossy McBossBoss. Boss. And you get wrecked immediately. And you give me a triple chest. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay. I'm standing still, nothing's gonna touch me. I shouldn't have done that. Yep, bad idea. Yeah, I guess I want might on it. I don't want too much area because that's actually detrimental. Well, no, not if you get enough speed on the back end, it's fine. But that's just... Well, I mean, I'm going to get speed inevitably from when I go to random always. Arcana Bat. Arcana Bat, give me your juice. What do I even want? No, try the Requiem. Yeah, that's probably my best damage option, isn't it? Not that I have much in the way of curse, but hey. And it won't actually fire off that long. Or that often, because I've got duration stacked, but still. Well, actually, no. It, it's like Bible. The cooldown and the duration are desynced. Well, no, projectile limits exist. Yeah, it's firing off basically endlessly because the combination of the duration. That just, uh. Well. That chest is definitely not a thing, so I just gotta be aware of when something dies. Now, I don't actually have very many kills considering how safe this has been. No, I don't have much in the way of area, so that's probably it. Surprisingly little area. Da -da -da. And the fourth wave, I already know what I want to do, but the fifth wave, oh man, I have no idea. Just soul eater. Under the tomb of Soul Taker. Tune. Tune. Now you definitely want area on Soul Eater.
Send a soul taker because that's better than soul eater. And I will stand by this decision even though I never actually fully watched soul taker. Might. Might. Wow, I'm gonna do no damage. Huh. Well, on the other hand, Festive Winds is still Festive Winds. And there's on Holy Vespers, which is going to be on Holy Vespers, and I can go random always. I don't know, like one level on Garlic. Here you are, Atlantean. Yeah, stack up that debuff. Aha! Wow. Is there anything that's not immune to it? Best of Winds is crazy strong. Alright, 16 minutes in, two Atlanteans down. Should be able to get the full set. There's no reason to bully that bat, but I wanted to do it anyway. Well, no need for chess since I got all three evolutions. Thank you, doubling up from Rolla. I think even the mantises are going down pretty swiftly, that's nice. Ooh, as are the mummies, and that's usually a pretty dang durable way. Yeah, I know it's only like a 5% damage increase, but with how often it hits, that adds up really quickly. And considering how much you adore... Everything else that increases your might. Hey. Well, I'm thinking for like major farming stuff. Fest of Winds, or specific damage breaking things, Fest of Winds might have a place. Then again, I'm not sure if those pots are immune. Because Dex did a video with Toasty and Ridiculous Damage Penta. Pentillion? Hey, no. Not trillions. Quadrillions, which is done with a P. Trillions is... No, trillions is T. Billions is G. Huh. Wait, where is... Man, look at how fast they just get scored down. I mean, 64 is not that high of a level, but still. Pretty fast kill on an Atlantean. And I'll actually get them all for once. Well, not for once, but recently, because boy, the Gyaru Tin have trouble. You know, obviously, I'm using the characters in extremely limited circumstance, so they're not as strong as they should be or could be. Still, struggling with some, not struggling with others. What is interesting because you get a better feel for their strengths in such limited environments. Or the weaknesses of a weapon. Oh my god, Diamond Mines, you are terrible. Like, yeah, I will fully cop to it and say that Diamond Mines is worse than Long Gun. Long Gun with Heart of Fire is just better than Diamond Mines. But of course, the tier list is made up of many different factors, like the fact that. The evolution for a long gun is just good. Well, I'm a torpedo is pretty great. Oh, hey, Arcana Chest. And since I'm not in the mood or the time to, you know, fail over and over again, I will get awake. All right, uh, Twilight Reckon was blasting the Atlanteans too. That helped put on some damage. Probably not much, but hey, one is better than zero. Mr. Volcano Atlantean. Wow, you actually got in. I mean, barely lasted a few seconds, but hey, you got in. 
and I could just readjust, but hey, you got in. Well, that was multiple NFTs really quickly. There's got to be a big, big red gem around here. On the other hand, my actual kill count's pretty bad. You know, the amount of enemies on Mad Force isn't actually that high, considering it doesn't get as ridiculous as a lot of the other stages. He yeah, is the first level, after all. First level, first stage, after all. I originally had it as the Bellwick, which, you know, not like that or Beswick is all that. Da -da 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 -da. Specific. But after doing it for so long, Beswick just rolls off the tongue better. I really, really need to finish that Eomelise video. Because I have an idea for that, and I hope it'll actually be funny and get some views. Thanks for watching, by the way. The one person who's actually made it this far. I see those analytics. Oh boy, they are bad. Hey, I'm doing less gimmicky stuff. Well, it's more constant gimmicky stuff. I've never been able to sell myself on account of me being bad. That's why I was a skillless degenerate for Elden Ring. Man, even that vacuum didn't give me the red gem. Burn! Burn them all! 28 minutes in, we got big old bat wave coming. Bats! 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 Oh, you know, bat robear is home. Ah, Myung Moon spell. Man, they're just getting... Blast away with no chance. Kill count's pathetic considering. I can run into them pretty well. That's a nice change of pace. Level 100. Oh, yeah. Wait, what am I talking about? I still have the emergency meeting characters to go through. Why did I forget they exist? I want to forget Among Us exists. Hoo ha! Like the world basically has. Nah, I'm kidding. You're a great Among Us. But you're no longer Among Us. Okay, time for Myong to be Myongin over on... Da, 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 da. Oh boy. Well, uh, uh, thank you for existing, Awake. No, I should have got the Bible first. Now I don't need to worry about getting the Bible. Oh, it is on the map, isn't it? Those are not things I want. That is, though. Empty Tome is more helpful than Duration at the moment. I want Festa Winds first. Unholy Vespers actually did more on the first one. Pull you out of the pool. Or something. And there we go. Triple Shield back in action. Unholy Vespers did actually the most damage on the Mad Forest run. But, I will still say that Festa Winds... Contributed the most overall. Because I don't want to give Unholy Vespers credit for anything. It doesn't stink as bad as garlic, but it can certainly thwomp you in a way that the wind can't. I say this as someone who just saw wind going sideways a week ago. Huh. Oh yeah, that's why I wasn't updating for a couple of days. Boy, do power outages suck. I really wish there was a year that went by without me getting stuck in a power outage. Frankly, somehow it's more frustrating than it is when I was a young pup. 
Sure, back then it was longer. It was taking away my precious summer vacation. But now it's taking away money. Why did I take that over anything else? Bad Spellbinder, bad. Da -da -da -da, Silver Wind 7. No, oh, I didn't actually check what the base weapons did, though I presume that Silver Wind did the most. Yeah, I'll make sure at least one of these is evolving early. Just in case something happens. Okay, I did grab Silver Wind. Empty that tomb. Empty that tomb. If shall we evolve? We shall. The winds, they've become festive. That's become Santa's javelin. Still messing up rough? Yep. Now what's going on with that? Just no idea. I'm not even sure if that shows up on the... They even show up correctly on the stream or the recording. Yeah, it does. That's definitely a game thing, not on my TV. Well, I guess it might be my console thing. Xbox, yeah. yeah. Now, while, yes, the Red Ring of Death did exist, the Discreet Error also existed for the PS2. And my PS3 crapped out anyway. All I'm saying is, Nintendo is the only one that makes a console that works. Oh, hey, enemies that shoot things. What a novel concept. Okay, I can evolve Soul Eater. This is where, if I could remotely remember the opening to Soul Taker, I would sing it. But I sort of can't. Alright, I want to get Lost and Found painting. Oh well. No, oh, I won't remember that for Hectic Highway, because... Well, no, it should be Hectic Highway, right? Gotta be something else. I bet my first limit break is gonna be into Gar... King Bible only. Oh, hey, King Bible on the King Bible... Railroad. Huh. It was not odd. Hey, Merchant. How's it going? Looking to sell some eggs? Well, there you go. It's Soul Eater, obviously. It's better than speed. All it takes is four level ups there to reach one level Candle Abrador. Frankly, as good as it's going to get. That's three. Outside the bounds of the Bible now. I can't dance. Stop going through the walls. Get back here, you. There we go. Now I can just random always. Alright, and obviously a duration. It's already got a very high duration by default. So adding on to that is fine. Speed's actually one of the better stats, so that way it buzzsaw is better. Alright. Time to take a trip on the railroad. Oh, double. Well, that's just incredibly dangerous. That is obviously not enough time for the second train to stop in case the first one needs to make an emergency stop. That is just asking for a collision and catastrophe. Huh. Their spawns decrease or is it just me? Okay, hit this train and then go up, because I want to fight more enemies. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's less all of a sudden for some reason. He 
enemies. Oh, yeah, that's the Predator type enemy. From the movie Predator. And Predator 2. An Alien vs. Predator. An Alien vs. Predator 2 Requiem. And Predators. And Prey. And a series of video games and comic books. You gotta get awake, cause that's a cure routine. No, it's Troy Blunder wave at the end. Try blunder. Try blunder. Wait, did I mention this was a laboratory? Oh, it is. I should probably check what three levels I'm going to do and start that in the intro. Hmm. I should do a lot of things in the like, first minute. Gotta mention what type of video game it is, like, multiple times. It's Vampire Survivors! It's Vampire Survivors! It's Vampire Survivors! Silly CEO. No, silly SEO. CEO. Selective Enforcement on Monopia. 12 minutes. We're getting to killy frame time. Yeah, this isn't doing a lot of direct damage, but it's very safe, which is nice. This is just so concentrated around her instead of being, you know, full maps, full screen size. Well, bigger than the screen size, as some go. Okay, I got seven on um, the Legacy Mount Moon spell. Got eight on Tides of Foscari and it's 12 for emergency meeting, isn't it? You got red, orange, yellow, blue, pink, green, purple, purple. No, wait, that's eight. Force is nine. Is there anyone else beyond that? Yeah, I don't think so. Now you got report, you got emergency. No, you got report, you got swipe, you got clear debris, you got the vent, you got hats, you got scan. Got science rocks. And you got sharp tongue. It's eight weapons. And then Megalos nine, because there's something else. There's no double Megalo. Also, Drowner's here. This is actually really annoying. Secret Rosary. Oh, hey, the rough went away correctly. Whoa. That's a Oral Logan time. Huh. Does the train get rid of either of you? Well, I don't know, because I have the worst possible luck here. Wait, no, you're defanged. Aw. The stalker just wants hugs. You know, as long as he's defanged, he's pretty dang adorable, isn't he? Hugs for the Stalker. Hugs for the Vampire Survivor Stalker. Hmm. Miang's finally found someone to love her. Maybe that's what I should do. No, come back, Stalker! Only wanted hugs. Don't oh, buy tribe blunder. That went out pretty fast and it didn't get that close. That's a good sign. No, right, the smaller ones aren't getting in. That's a good sign as well. But of course, the big ones are just so large they push themselves in through their sheer girth. Yep, I can't do anything about it because they're just so big. On the other hand, she's still tanking it like a champ. 
Heck, she might be the only one that can actually get through this without a wake spam. Forty-six seconds on the final wave, which is really ridiculous. Hey, why'd I revive at full? I don't have Sarah Bonde. Huh. Yeah, she could have done it without wake. Good on you, Myung. Good on you. No gold. Ah, well, on Holy Vespers, did its work. Oh. What pathetic numbers for the everything else. Okay, and Myung will, in fact, be showing off with the King Bible on the King Bible Railway. Oh yeah. Actually get Carlo Kart done. I think what's what's worse was I was looking at the dang Bezwick tracker and I got confused because Scrojoni hasn't done it. And I was thinking, oh my god, no. I actually do not do it with your Rutin and just mess it up again. But no, I actually did do this with your Rutin in the past and also yesterday. Which, well, that's why I went silent. Because I did Carlo Kart. And, you know, beat it. Wow, I'm not getting a single bloody one. But I did Carlo Kart, which I'd already beaten. So then I needed another quick one, which was going to be Moonglow. And it was Moonglow. But then I died. On Moonglow. And that annoyed me enough that, boy, I did not want to talk about anything for a while. Which, you know, was in my comment, but hey. One person watches these. Thanks for that, by the way. Don't know why you're following along this long on such a tiny channel with innate commentary. Innate. Inert commentary. But thank you all the same. Pew pew pew. Empty tome. Empty tome. Huh, that felt like it came up faster than it should have been. The boss shown up yet? Can't even tell. Do they drop it? No, they don't get damaged, so they can't drop anything unless they get blasted with a rosary or grenade. Yeah, no damage there. Here's the boss. Wait, why are you going off screen like that? That's weird. Wait, four minutes should be another boss showing up. Bottom we go. Speed along, speed along. Top, top, top. Palm roller. Palm roll. Oh, wow, I ran into the explosion. Oh, there's Arcana Bat. Boy, it would be nice if you didn't keep getting knocked away. Oh well, that was my fault. Yay! He's gotta be coming up soon. I missed the boost. There we go. Boost pad! Yep, there goes the Arcana chest. Gonna get awake first, cause... Well, I don't think I'm gonna need it. I'd much rather have the safety up front, just in case I can't get the second Arcana.
Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, this is far away. Oh, there's another boss. Ooh, time that well. You died instantly, huh? Oh, it's been festive winds first all three times, huh? Well, I guess I could have gotten the Bible up. And Soul Eater. And there's Soccer back to get his revenge. Really, Myung should be getting her revenge for him abandoning her. Yeah, that's definitely based on some sort of timer. Uh-oh. Devil, uh-oh. Boss. Okay, try and keep it even so I can get my on. Holy Vespas. I do believe Meowang has come down with a case of the Vespers. Ah, Wretch the surface. Oh, hey, chicken. Random event. And Stalker. Random event. No, can't get Stalker random event here. Wait, no, you're the Arcana. I need to get you. Re-roll, re-roll, re-rollin'. We be re-rollin'. Till we awake. Turns out she did find her worth in the waking world. Oh, you. Okay, that's coming up, so... That was already Twilight Requiem, wasn't it? No, there it is. Boom, bam, bam. I didn't check what Twilight Requiem did at all. The last two runs, huh? Oh, I missed that? Weird. Alright, only a minute and a half to go. Could be anything in the way. Nothing's gonna challenge her at this point. I got a holy vespers that hits basically the whole thing. A nice defensive line. And the other two. Yeah, one one one. One round, one victory. No troubles here. And only one lost life. One proc revive. Do try blunders of all things. But normally it would take four lives for other characters to get through. Boy, I hope that falls on someone like Mina, who I can just do triple might on. Or quadruple, quintuple might on. I don't want levels on that. I don't want levels at all. No, I mean, you can eventually... Hmm. I guess in, no, no, nothing can ultimately out damage Toasty for that. Just because the multiplier on amounts bigger than it. multiplier on the damage for Legionnaire with Divine Bloodline is larger than anything you could possibly get otherwise. Like anything else caps out it with, well, maybe Curse Scalars. Hmm. Anyway, that's Meong's triple threat done. Okay, and Meong slides us into 398. Da -da -da -da. 399. And 400 with no troubles. Oh, it's nice to have 400 done. That's over a quarter of the way done. And yet still so much more to go, especially when the next update hits and introduces so much more. Oh boy.
Yeah, 1,532 more to go. And next up's gonna be menu. Shouldn't be too difficult. Thank you for watching. I appreciate anyone who supported me. And if you have not, please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. Either way, I hope you have a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.